we've now seen so much of what Rancho Del Arroyo has to offer, but one thing that's been on my mind is how good of a map is it going to be for beginners? So what I thought we'd do is effectively start over here. We are now level 1 with 0 cash and 100 XP from claiming this outpost. And we're just going to head out with the 243 in hand and kind of see what we can do. Now, I did kind of decide to go with a new player that has purchased the Weapon Pack 1 DLC. So we have to kill one animal to have the cash to buy 22 ammo, but just because of pheasants and turkeys being on this map and the fact that birdshot takes 900 shotgun score to actually unlock, I thought we'd have the 22 at least to have some capability of taking down the bird species, but I'm curious to see just kind of how this is going to go. We know all the species as far as the classes go are going to be able to be taken with the 243 or the 22, but I really want to see just as a beginner, no skills, no perks, no nothing, how this is going to be. And I think a level 2 Bobcat will actually be a pretty good start. We're at a decent range to try to take it. It's not too pleased with us. But, I managed to actually drop it in his tracks there. I just realized we're using the 243 soft point bullets, so that's something I actually have to pay attention to. And something else we'll be able to buy pretty quickly by maybe even just harvesting this particular Bobcat, because it is going to give quite good cash. But the whole kind of reason for doing this is because there's always like questions about what's the best map to start on and just because this is a map that has no species above a class 6 i was curious as to if this would be a potential good recommendation for the future but what we have in our level 2 bobcat is a 17.8 bronze i mean a thousand cash and that's gonna get us pretty far uh, as far as just being able to buy a couple of things i grabbed a tent we can get the ammo for the 22 and maybe even the polymer tip bullets I mentioned. So we can. We'll be able to get 10 of those. And we can buy just probably 10 22 rounds as well. We'll have a little cash left over, but just in case we need that for something else, we'll hang on to it. And I would say it was pretty good timing because not only do we have some pheasants out here, we also have a turkey. So I'm glad we went ahead and bought that stuff. We'll try to hit the turkey since he's there. It's going to be tough to really get to see it since we have the starting scope as well. But if it continues kind of walking in that direction, there's probably enough of an opening to maybe see. I'm pretty sure we got it. It's really tough to tell, but I'm quite confident that the pheasants won't have actually spooked from that. I think they did hear it. We'll scoot in a little closer and probably try to take one off the ground for now, just because we are so limited on 22 ammo. And a little bit later on, once we actually have more cash and more ammo, we'll try to take one out of the air as well. We'll have to see where the turkey got to. I'm sure it's not too far away, but that shot actually did kind of send the pheasants walking towards us, and they got behind the brush to where we actually couldn't get a clear shot. And again, given the limited ammo, I didn't actually want to try to take a shot and end up missing. So what we're going to do instead is, since we have whitetail drink time currently, see if we can maybe get that buck. And it's kind of a rangy shot, but it should be okay. Especially now that we're rocking the 243 polymer tips. We can see that brought him down good and quickly, so we'll try to find our turkey and go and claim that. I mean, I guess technically, since we just spooked one of the pheasants, we can try. It's gonna be tough. I mean, oh, actually, not that bad even with the starting scope. I kind of figured that the zoom would really hurt us there, but it wasn't even a big deal. And now we've actually, just by the fact that we flush one, managed to get a proper scorer. Obviously, that was an airborne one. We'll go ahead and claim that, and that'll get that out of the way nice and early. I thought that could be a potential struggle for us, but not too bad. A little 15.5. 52-meter shot out of the air. I don't think that would have been super easy to do just by trying to purposely set up, but when it happens by accident, it certainly isn't a bad deal. And then finally, we have our whitetail, which, of course, we shot 138 meters away with the starting scope, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I gotta love the fluffier tails on them. I think they did a really good job making that look a bit more realistic than it was. But I actually even managed to go I think because he is extra wide. And once again with the opportunity, we might go ahead and try to take a shot like this on this antelope jackrabbit. I think that'll be doable. Kind of guessing on the range for a lot of this. Now, you would be able to, even as a beginner, without any kind of range finding equipment, just simply use the map and look in the bottom right. So I was guessing that was around 100 meters and because we don't have any zeroing unlocked, all the weapon zeros are right in the center. So with the 22, it would be 50, 100, or 150. Because we don't have it, it's the middle one at 100, and kind of good guess, I think, and it happened to be correct. And we have our 
little level one male jackrabbit, plus the one that's just kind of apparently just sitting there, but since it ran off, we'll just be happy with our one. It was 123 meters, so aiming high was probably also a decent idea. But yeah, I mean, not too bad. The more time I spend out here specifically kind of looking at things through the eyes of a beginner player, the more I kind of realize that this map has a ton of potential to be like a good starting out map because there is such an abundance of bobcats and peccary and things like that that you can pretty easily take out with the starting equipment. And we didn't even focus too much on the bobcats before because they happen to be just, we got a really easy opportunity right at the very beginning. But they drink during the daylight, they're not hard to actually get, and we saw even with the soft point bullets, we took it down really easily, you know, as a level 1 player with literally nothing else to our name at that point. I really do think because of that and the amount of cash animals like the peccary and the bobcats give, there is a lot to be gained by like starting out on this map, but that's a decent 3. Like I said though, almost 1100 cash for just that little guy, it's like a 25kg animal, like easy to take down with that starting weapon. I actually like what I'm seeing, I hadn't thought of it too much playing like as, you know, a level 60 player. Just because you have all the best equipment, you can do essentially whatever you want as far as loadouts and stuff like that. No loading cactuses might be a good idea here, but especially since we don't have medkits, but anyway. I actually really think this could be a good starting map. It's open enough, there's plenty of lakes and areas to get to. And like I said, the abundance of those animals that are easily taken down with the starting equipment really does help. They just so happen to be trying to get back to their zone here, so we might as well take another one. Just on the off chance that we actually want to do something with this beginner account beyond just this video. Because I'm kind of considering it just because of how kind of nice this map is to newer players. But we'll go and grab that level 2 female that we shot. I don't think she should have gone too far. But especially tossing in the weapon pack 1 DLC on top of everything. Having that 22 there for the turkeys and pheasants and jackrabbits. You're really set to go in my opinion and I like it. So much like the whitetail earlier, it's a little farther than ideal, but given the opportunity to actually take out a coyote here, I'd like to get a shot off at it. Now the 243 can take down a coyote regardless of where you hit it. I would just like to make a decent shot if at all possible. That there, I guess will be a decent shot. And again, it kind of goes back to the same thing with the bobcats and the peccary. Coyotes are a little less, I would say, accessible than those other two species, but they do give really good cash. and. That's one thing, again, that, I mean, I don't really look at the cash value of any species that I'm taking out on my main account because just with the amount of hours and kills, it's not something that's super important, but there are a lot of species on this map that give really, really good cash, and again, that's a good thing for a newer player. But anyway, I think that leaves us with only two more species on this map that we haven't shot. I really like the additional fur even added to the females because I think the males are a little fluffier. But you can see it with them as well. And we'll head off now and see if we can get a mule deer and a bighorn. So for the sake of making our lives easier, I went ahead and reset the time, but it actually does help in getting our health back as well because the cactus chip damage was starting to actually add up, but we finally have a bighorn out here. I think one that was going alert due to a bobcat, so we made that shot in there. Hopefully it's gonna be a lung. It looked like it hit okay, but it's kind of hard to tell. The 243 is underpowered for them. The fact that he is sprinting that out though for as long as he is, I'm pretty confident he actually just went down. So I think that was a long shot. But quite honestly, in my opinion, it is pretty much a formality at this point, just getting one of every species. I really do think the openness of this map, the ability to just get animals that are high in XP and in cash, and in general, the fact that the animal classes are all right there that you can take them with the beginning weapon, I think... Rancho del Arroyo is a really good beginner map. I'm actually kind of proud. I didn't realize that was 176 meters away, but not too bad for the beginner scope. And like I said, it's pretty much a formality just getting one of everything, but I think it is good to show that the 243 is capable of taking everything, just in case anyone is completely new to the game and wanting to try it out. But especially if you're watching this uh, before the release, if you're wanting to try out this map and not sure if it's going to be okay for a beginner, a couple of levels gained and a few equipment items such as maybe the Hyperion Scope, and you'll be set to go on this map even more so. And last but most certainly not least for Rancho del Arroyo is the Mule Deer, and even though that angle's not the best, I think we'll try frontal with the 243. 
I figured a hard shot should be doable with the penetration of the polymer tips. And that is now officially one of every species on the new map with the beginner equipment. And I think it was really good to get out here and actually kind of experience it in the shoes and in the eyes of a level one player, or I guess by now like a level three or four player. But it would be one thing in my opinion to kind of guess that this would be a good map, but it's completely different to actually get out there and basically come to that conclusion via doing it. So I think it is going to be actually a really good map, not only just for beginner players to enjoy, but also to actually level up on and kind of progress through the game in a pretty quick manner. So I think it's definitely going to be good for both of those things. And it was nice to get out here with a little bit of a throwback Thursday 5, just to throw back to the early days of Call of the Wild, since we didn't have a actual throwback Thursday game. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.